We had so much fun doing the uh, English food snack mm -hmm. um, taste test that we decided to go ahead and do um, another one. This is not English uh, snacks. This is Maryland, snacks. Maryland, and we're in Maryland. We're in the DMV area, and basically that area around the DC Beltway. We were at the co-op in Greenbelt. They had these local we made potato my or dad's, my dad's chips. chips. They just went we love supporting local whenever possible. There's even a little picture of Marilyn down in the corner, lest you miss it. Oh yeah. <laughs> They're in Gaithersburg. So. Will is born and bred Maryland. I'm a Maryland transplant, but I love it here. And I'm honorary Marylander. Fine. Yes, you are very um, honorary. <laughs> because we're having Maryland potato chips, um, we have us some Natty Bow, National Bohemian beer, mm -hmm. Maryland. It's a palate cleanser so that we can enjoy I, each flavor individually. Yes. Um, I don't think we need to open two. I think we can just open one. Ooh, and share these. Share these. <laughs> Natty Bow. Oh. Little beer ASMR there. Salem, get down, honey. Yes. I suggest we start with original flavors. Okay. So that we... we have four flavors. We went to the website to see if they had... Old Bay, which they don't. <sighs> Slight oversight. I'm sure they're getting to it. Uh, can you turn that fan to face us more, yeah. please? That's so much better. Thank you, sweetheart. Anytime. Okay. I'm your biggest fan. Uh, yes, you are. <laughs> we have four flavors here. We have original, French onion, French onion barbecue, gotta have it. Sec and balsamic. I always say it funny. Balsamic uh, uh, vinegar and vinegar. So, um, potato chips last time with the English snacks, but of course we were calling them crisps because that's what they are, they were crisps. But these are Maryland, so they're potato chips. So okay. we're gonna open these. My dad's chips has come a long way from the kitchen of our founder, Gary Adele. When his kids went away to college, Gary would send them care packages filled with homemade potato chips Aww. to share with their friends. Whenever people asked, where did you get these chips? The response was always, they're my dad's chips. And the rest is history. That's sweet. We <laughs> like nice, we like dads. Happy Father's Day, um, Papa Chip. Does it say his name? Oh, Gary. Happy Father's Day, Gary. If you're, uh, if these look nice and crispy. Um, go ahead and oh yeah, one. they got a, a they got dark, a scald on them. Dark rich color. Mm. I mean, they're still quite thin. Toasty. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They have a, a French fry, a, a well-cooked French fry taste. Mm-hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Vegetable oil blend. Vegetable oil blend. And salt. So and it's a... It's, a it's, it's very basic. I don't know what the oils are. It would be nice to know which oils it is. Um, allergen cautions or anything like that. Okay. So if there's no allergen cautions, my um, automatic feeling would be that there's no p peanut oil in here. But I also, I'm not a big fan of like um, cottonseed oil, for example. I like to know if it's canola oil or what it is. But if these have like a... Mm. Some of them really are quite dark. Mm-hmm. But they don't taste burnt. No, they don't taste burnt. They just, yeah, I could definitely gobble a whole bag of these without blinking. Yeah, that's good. All right. <laughs> so, I don't think we have to cleanse our palate from Not the, after original. Um, vinegar first, because that's going to be um, probably uh, my least favorite, and I want to end on I want to end on my favorites. So. Um, I'm rooting for the balsamic. I think it's going to really. He add likes something. salt and vinegar. That one was a little easier to open. Yeah. Nice strong aroma comes out of the bag there. I feel it's like, I feel like it's kind of mild. Mmm. Mmm, that's actually really nice. And it's light. The salt is not overpowering. And the vinegar is not like the balsamic, puckery. The balsamic has just a nice flavor to it. Right, it's not like, it's not making your mouth want to shrivel up. A little sweet too. Mm-hmm. Mm, no, this is not puckery at all. Oh, that's quite nice. <laughs> all right. Mmm. Quite nice. Let me have some more of these salt mm -hmm. and balsamic vinegar chips, please. This would go so good with a sandwich. It wouldn't interfere with a flavor mm -hmm. of a sandwich. You don't want to just have a plain chip with your sandwich. Here's my theory about chips. <laughs> I mean, I have chip theory. Um, when you have like a... Uh, French onion or barbecue. That's the kind of chip you have by itself with a snack and a soda 
you're watching a show, whatever. You're sitting at your desk writing a romance novel, whatever. Um, they are the flavor. I feel like the flavored chips like this interfere with your sandwich. You got a nice tuna salad, maybe you don't want. You don't want barbecue chips. Yeah. But plain chips are, are what I generally like with my sandwiches. I would eat these with a sandwich. I think it'd go quite nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna stop eating those. <laughs> I, surprise, surprise, surprise. Dark Horse coming in. Oh, oh yeah, let's do now palate it's cleanser. Time for now it's time bow. for a little natty bow. This enables us to live pleasantly. <laughs> oh, right. And, mm. uh... So here's the barbecue. Chip ASMR there. Mm -hmm. That one opened much easier. I, that first one was sealed. I mean, I think they just fry them nice and dark. They, they so. like them dark. Mm -hmm. That is a full flavored chip. You can tell just looking at it. Yeah, they're not skimping on the flavor. There's flavor all up the side of the the chip bag. Hmm. Again, not overpowering. Mildly flavored, wo woody, like mesquite. Tastes like mesquite. Let's see. I'm gonna say that's mesquite. What do you think? I need to do more research. <laughs> I probably wouldn't eat these with a sandwich. Because I feel like it would be... Unless it was a barbecue sandwich. No. <laughs> that would be even worse. We have competing barbecue flavors. <laughs> what if they were carefully blended to match perfectly? Stop. <laughs> Stop. That's insanity. <laughs> Don't listen to him. It'll mess It'll mess you all up. Um, I probably wouldn't eat these with a sandwich. I would definitely have this at a party. They had bigger bags, by the way, but we didn't want four big bags of chips. <laughs> um, I would eat these while I'm writing. I still think they'd be great with baked beans. Mmm. I would go with okay, baked beans. Okay, then. All right. Probably some coleslaw, too. Half a point for Will. They would be very good with coleslaw. Mm-hmm. Palette cleanser. This one is probably, hopefully, going to be my favorite flavor because I love French onion. Please don't disappoint. And I lavender is my color. One of my colors. I love lavender. So. Well, they've been doing great so far. Mm -hmm. It's been a win-win. No this think. isn't even sponsored. This isn't even a sponsored video. Although, if you wanted to sponsor us. <laughs> My dad's chips. I have a book, women's book festival that needs sponsors for 2025. And, and they need... All right. You do. Yeah. This is not Open sour cream powder. and onion. This nope. is French Just onion. French onion. So, it's a, let's, let's try it. Let's try the chips. I am on tinterhooks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's fantastic. Mm. Now I will try some. Oh, I, got I would eat this with a with a sandwich. I wouldn't eat a sour cream and onion with a sandwich, mm. but French onion, absolutely. This this is delicious. I would eat them in a box. I would eat them with a box. I would eat them here or there. I would eat them anywhere. Mmm. Mmm. We're gonna have to get another bag of these. <laughs> Oh, these are delicious. Mm. The flavor is not overpowering. Mm -mm. So it would not over overcharge anything else you were eating with it. Not but too salty. All right, at the same time, it's definitely got a little something with the plain chips. Don't it reminds add. me of fried onions a little bit. Mm. It would also go really good on top of a casserole. I'm gonna have this one and then I'm gonna stop. <laughs> she says. Excellent work, Gary. Oh. We like them. Yep. We will be buying more um, of these uh, because we love supporting Maryland businesses, DMV area businesses. Um, so thank you. We appreciate we it. We also like eating good mm. food, and this qualifies totally. And they go great with Natty Bo. <laughs> I'm sure they go great with any beer, but. Marylanders. Rock on, Maryland. Mm-hmm.